Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, November the 6th. It's the 21st uh, week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 72. And Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 4 through 22. Join me now, please, in singing the second verse of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Nations attend before God's throne with solemn fear, with sacred joy. Know that our God is God Open thy lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia! Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia! Psalm 72, and please recite it with me. Alleluia! Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Your ruler shall judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring peace to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. And your ruler shall judge the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and shall break the oppressor into pieces. Your ruler shall live as long as the sun and the moon endure throughout all generations. And your ruler shall come down like rain upon the mown grass like showers that water the earth. In his days the righteous shall flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. And your ruler shall have dominion from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lift the dust. The rulers of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring gifts, the rulers of Sheba and Seba, shall offer tribute. Yes, all nations shall fall down before your ruler. All nations shall serve him. For your ruler shall deliver the needy when they cry, and the poor that have no helper. Your ruler shall spare the poor and shall save the lives of the needy. Your ruler shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And your ruler shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba, and prayer shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth, upon the top of the mountains. The fruit will shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. Your ruler's name shall endure forever. His name shall last as long as the sun. All people shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call your ruler blessed. Blessed be God most high, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things. And blessed be God's glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with God's glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia. A reading from Nehemiah chapter 13, beginning at verse 4. Now before this, the priest Eliashib, who was appointed over the chambers of the house of our God, and who was related to Tobiah, prepared for Tobiah a large room where they had previously put the grain offering, the frankincense, the vessels, and the tithes of grain, wine, and oil, which were given by commandment to the Levites, singers, and gatekeepers, and the contributions for the priests. While this was taking place, I was not in Jerusalem, for in the 32nd year of King Artaxerxes of Babylon, I went to the king. 
After some time, I asked leave of the king and returned to Jerusalem. I then discovered the wrong that Eliashib had done on behalf of Tobiah, preparing a room for him in the courts of the house of God. And I was very angry. And I threw all of the household furniture of Tobiah out of the room. Then I gave orders, and they cleansed the chambers, and I brought back the vessels of the house of God with the grain offering and the frankincense. I also found out that the portions of the Levites had not been given to them, so that the Levites and the singers who had conducted the service had gone back to their fields. So I remonstrated with the officials, and I said, Why is the house of God forsaken? I gathered them together and set them in their stations. And then all of Judah brought the tithe of the grain, wine, and oil into the storehouses. And I appointed as treasurers over the storehouses the priest, Shalabiah, and the scribe, Zadok, and Padiah of the Levites as their assistants. Hanan, son of Zakor, son of Mananiah, for they were considered faithful, and their duty was to distribute to their associates. Remember me, O my God, concerning this, and do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for his service. In those days I saw in Judah people treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in heaps of grain and loading them on donkeys, and also wine grapes, figs, and all kinds of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I warned them at that time against selling food. Tyrants also who lived in the city brought in fish and all kinds of merchandise and sold them on the Sabbath to the people of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I remonstrated with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What is this evil thing that you are doing, profaning the Sabbath day? Did not your ancestors act in this way? And did not our God break all this disaster on us and on this city? Yet you break more wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. When it began to be dark at the gates of Jerusalem before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors should be shut and gave orders that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. And I set some of my servants over the gates to prevent any burden from being brought in on the Sabbath day. Then the merchants and sellers of all kinds of merchandise spent the night outside Jerusalem once or twice. But I warned them and said to them, Why do you spend the night in front of the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on, they did not come on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves and come and guard the gates to keep the Sabbath day holy. Remember this also in my favor, O my God, and spare me according to the greatness of your steadfast love. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us were bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O God, lead us in the ways of justice and truth, that peace may flourish in our days. Soften our hearts, that we may have compassion on all your children, especially the poor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.